what's the baby value pain? It's pretty much like a surface area volume ratio. So we look at the cylinder. So our surface area is going to be 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And our volume is going to be pi r squared height. So in case you're wondering, r is going to be radius and h is going to be height. So if we know, determine the surface area to volume ratio for a cylinder with a radius of two and a height of three, we sub it in the formula. So two pi r being two times our height being three plus two pi r being two squared. So two times three is six and then two squared is four. Two times six is 12 and two times four is eight. So 12 plus eight is gonna give me 20. And of course, don't forget to bring your pi along for the ride. So our volume is going to be pi r, r being 2, squared, times our height being 3. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Then again, that uh, pi is coming along for the ride. So surface area volume ratio is going to be 20 pi over 12 pi. If you reduce that, you're going to get 5 over 3. So if you want to pause the video and try this problem on your own. Determine the surface area to volume ratio for a cylinder with a radius of 3 and a height of 2. Yeah, I just switched the numbers. That's okay. So we'll sub it in where I have 2 pi r being 3 times my height, which is 2, plus 2 pi r being 3 squared. Um, and so what we'll do is we say, okay, well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 squared is 9. So 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18, 12 plus 18 is 30. Um, and don't forget to bring that pi along for the ride. The volume is going to be pi r being 3 squared times my height of 2. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So then we do our surface area volume ratio, and we'll get 30 pi over 18 pi, um, which reduces down to 5 over 3. Um, so which cell is more efficient? They're actually the same efficiency. <laughs> Hope this helped. Remember, 85 penguins is stress for success.